Imagine this, you're on a boat enjoying the sun and the sea breeze. Suddenly a large wave hits, you lose your balance, you're thrown overboard into the water. One minute you are on a boat, the next you are alone in the vast ocean. This is the terrifying reality of a man overboard situation. Falling overboard is often unexpected and violent. You might be injured during the fall. Strong currents can pull you away from the boat quickly. Fear can grip you, making it difficult to think clearly. Your survival depends on your ability to stay calm and act fast. The immediate shock of cold water can be debilitating. Your body's natural reaction is to gasp for air. This can lead to inhaling seawater, which is extremely dangerous. Panic sets in, making it harder to swim or stay afloat. The key is to fight the panic. Take a deep breath and focus on staying afloat. If you have a life jacket, inflate it immediately. If not, try to find something that floats and can support your weight. The ocean can be deceptively cold, even on a sunny day. Hypothermia is a serious threat. It occurs when your body temperature drops too low. Cold water steals your body heat much faster than air. Signs of hypothermia include shivering, confusion and slurred speech. To combat hypothermia, try to get as much of your body out of the water as possible. Huddle with others if you're not alone. Every degree matters in the fight for survival. You might be surrounded by water, but you can't drink it. Salt water dehydrates you faster and worsens your situation. Dehydration leads to weakness, confusion and eventually organ failure. Conserve your energy. Avoid unnecessary movement. Try to collect rainwater if possible. Desperate times may call for desperate measures, but drinking seawater should be an absolute last resort. Section 5 Jaws and Other Dangers Predators of the Deep the open ocean is home to a variety of creatures, some dangerous. Sharks are a concern, but not the only one. Even small fish can inflict painful bites. Jellyfish stings can be excruciating and even deadly. Avoid attracting unwanted attention. Don't splash around excessively. If you're bleeding, try to control it and cover the wound. Stay close to any floating debris as it can offer some protection. Section 6. Staying afloat tips for survival. Survival at sea depends on your ability to stay afloat and conserve energy. Find anything that floats, a piece of wood, a life buoy, even a cooler. Use your clothes to trap air and increase buoyancy. Learn the heat escape lessening posture. Help cross your arms tightly across your chest. Bring your knees up to your chest and hold them close to your body. This helps to minimize heat loss in the water. Section 7, Signals for Rescue, Attracting Attention. Being visible is crucial for rescue. During the day, use a mirror to reflect sunlight. At night, use flares or a flashlight to signal distress. A brightly colored cloth can also help you stand out against the water's surface. If you see a ship or plane in the distance, try to signal them. Use your whistle, shout, or wave your arms to draw attention. Never give up hope. Persistence is key to being found. Section 8, Safety First, Preventing Overboard Incidents. Most overboard incidents can be prevented with basic safety precautions. Always wear a life jacket while on a boat, especially in rough seas. Let someone know your float plan before you go out. Use the buddy system, keep an eye on each other. Be aware of potential hazards on deck like loose ropes or wet surfaces. Safety should always be the top priority. A section 9, A Triumph of Will, The Story of Poon Lim. In 1942, Poon Lim, a Chinese sailor, survived 133 days adrift on a life raft after his ship was sunk in World War II. He caught fish with a makeshift hook, collected rainwater, and even kept his calendar by carving notches into a piece of wood. Poon Lim's story is a testament to the indomitable human spirit. It highlights the importance of mental fortitude, resourcefulness, and never giving up hope, even in the face of extraordinary challenges. Remember, survival is not about luck, it's about preparation, determination and the will to live.